Hi guys, this is Autism Talks, and today we're going to talk about... I haven't figured out the title for this one, so I'm just going to say Autism Talks. I'll think of something. Okay, so this one's going to be about... Um... Talk about crushes, we talked about friends, you know, and mates, and you know, you love having them around. So, today we're going to talk about... Um... You know, um, you know how, okay, this is, the, this is the most simple thing I can say. You know how someone is crushing on you, like, really, really hard and, you know, finds you really, really amazing and cute and you don't feel the same way. So, we're going to talk about that. So, without mentioning any names, um, we're going to talk about that. So, you know, like, it's, um, if you've been in a situation that someone likes you but you don't like them back, that's okay because everybody has, you know, they feel, well, everybody, um, I guess, has different, you know, feelings towards the meaning, not like feelings of crushes, but feelings like you just want to be friends and mates. But the other one says, oh, you know, um, I like you very much and you don't know what to say. And sometimes I'm like, oh, what are I sure? Because, like, like, I don't really like anyone at all and that's just me but you know it's it's hard because especially when it comes to boys it's hard because you know you know boys like girls and that's kind of a manufacturing life you know it's always been that way I'm not denying that but sometimes it's like if a friend says something to you you don't know what no, you don't know what to say back and you feel awkward because you don't feel the same way but you can't exactly like break their heart or, you know, talk harshly to them, you know, so it's, it's hard in that situation. Um, I don't know, I've, I've don't know if you've been in a situation like that before, but if you have, please let me know, because, um, you know, so when someone likes you and you don't like them back, it's totally okay, like, people have different feelings and different, um, feelings for that person, or you just want to be friends with them and mates, so... I've been having this problem a bit, just a bit. So, what do you do in that situation? Um, well, you can't exactly say, oh, I don't like you, because you can't really say that, because, you know, then you'll just probably push them away. Um, I think. You know, you could, I guess, you know, like, mm, it's hard, because... You know, and it's all oh, it's and, and it's by the way, it's very natural. Like if you like someone and they don't like you back, that's okay. But if you're on the same page and you like each other, then that's great. You know, but some people like each other and some people don't like that person. You know, and some people like that person, but they don't like them back. And it's very natural. And I wouldn't like you know. Sometimes it's hard for me to say because I can't really talk about it a lot, but. You know, you feel like in that matter you feel pressured or you feel that like that's your destiny and you don't want that to be a destiny. You want to find your own path and you know, no matter how many times a boy or girl says, you know, they like you, you're not going to change the fact that you don't like them back because the heart, the heart wants what it wants and if it doesn't feel the same way, you can't force that. You can't force someone to like you. You can't force someone to fall in love. That's just crazy. I mean, who... I mean, who has ever done that? It, it's just not natural. So, you know, so I guess you could probably say to them, like, you know, I just want to be friends or I'm not ready for a boyfriend yet or, you know, something simple. Just to, you know, give them a little bit more time because they might come back and say over and over again, you know, I really like you. And you're, and you're thinking, you're in my mind, it's like, oh, do I have to do this? Like, I'm not being pressured or forced or anything, but I just don't like this person at all. And no matter how many times you say it, you don't like that person, then it's okay. Because people feel what they want to feel, and you can't make someone force you into liking someone that you don't like. Especially in friends. Like, I've got heaps, I don't have a lot of friends, but, mainly they're boys, but I don't care. But, like, you know, friends in general, like, it's really, really hard. And I've been in that situation over and over and over again. So, it's a bit hard. But, I don't know. Like, it's a bit hard. Like, you know, when it comes to crushes and people liking you, it's hard. Because, you know, it, especially more hard if you don't like them back. So, if you like someone and you're on the same page. If you both like each other and you're on the same page, that's great. 
you know. But if you don't like someone and and someone likes you back, it's it's very hard, you know. And I'm in that and I'm in that situation at the moment, like, you know, like people will say, but probably people would say, you know, oh, what if you did? And you know, like, no, like it doesn't work like that. You can't force someone to fall in love. You can't force someone, to, you know, to like you just because they like you. It doesn't work like that. I think people have to run idea of what love is supposed to be sometimes so you know so my advice would probably it's very hard one this is my this is the most difficult autism talks i have ever had to do so my advice would be you know either you could do like three options either you could say to them i'm not ready for boyfriend or you say um can i say i don't I don't think you can say I, I don't like him in that way. You can say, I just want to be friends. That's a good one. You can just, you know, say, I just want to be friends, you know. Um, so you've got, I'm not ready for a boyfriend yet. Um, you've got, I just want to be friends. And the third one could be like, you know, I think it's better off that we're friends. You know, so that's a kind of the same one as the second one, but it's different to the third one. So, yeah, so if you are in that situation, I guess... I wouldn't say don't panic or don't freak out because, you know, people have different, you know, feelings towards other people and it's very hard. I guess for some people, including me, because I'm going through that at the moment and I don't know what, I, and I sometimes like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do in that situation. So, yeah, so if you're in that situation and you like someone and they don't like you back, it's hard because you can't say, you can't say, oh, I don't like you, um, you know, and, like, I don't have any feelings for you because, um, you know, it's very hard. It's very difficult, especially when you have friends who are like you, meaning they have autism and you can't just say to them something that you mean because they might think you're harsh or something. So that is that is even more pressure or hard because, you, you know, it's, you're dealing with someone who's very... Uh, on the spectrum as well as you and it's very very hard and you can't really say what you want to say and you know you forget sometimes that people can't read or you know write or you know even pick up the phone so it is hard I understand that if you have friends like that also so it's hard you know but I'm just thinking it's on my head you know it's, it's really hard um no, you know what? I would just go with that. I would just say, I'm not ready for a boyfriend yet. Can we just be friends? Um, oh, no, 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 no. Scratch the third one. You can say, can we not talk about this? Because, you know, there comes a time where you say, oh, they really like you, but you don't want to have that conversation because you don't feel the same way. So you could just say to them, can we talk about something else, please? You know, either than that crushy, lovey stuff because, you know, it's easier for all of us if we just you know, say that to our friends, you know, instead of breaking their hearts, you know. Um, yeah, so the free, the third one would be, um, can we not talk about that, please? You know, and they will respect that, you know. They, 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 they won't say no. I said, okay, sure, we'll talk about something else. So if you say that to a friend or any kind of friend, they'll respect your wishes. And, you know, also the other two options is that I'm not ready for a boyfriend yet. Um, can we just be friends? You know, they're also, they're, there's, there's those type of phrase that you can use. But, if you're in that situation as well, don't say to them, you know, it's hard because you're dealing with someone who's, you know, on the spectrum. So it's hard. And I'm not just saying this just for my sake. I'm saying it for your sake. So if you have a friend of yours that likes you and you don't know what to say, um, you know, just say to them, I guess, what, what I just said just then. So, yeah, so it's it's very hard. Very, very hard. But it's not easy also. You know, because you can't just say to them, oh, you know, I don't like you in that way. Or it's very hard, especially when you're dealing with someone who is like you and is on the spectrum as well. So that's even more pressure and hard. So, yeah, so that's all I've got time for, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe to Mills. I'll see you guys very soon. Bye.